figures robots are distancing themselves from Joe Biden. Are you kidding me? The Silicon Valley startup just shared new footage of a fleet of its figure two humanoid robots showing off their improved human-like walking gait. On the X social media platform, founder Brett Adcock said he was tired of seeing comments in figures replies comparing its humanoids' bipedal locomotion capabilities to the former president's. Walk Like Biden became a meme in the summer of 2024 following the release of a satirical adaptation of the Bengals' 1986 hit, Walk Like an Egyptian. The parody music video features a montage of Biden's public appearances, emphasizing moments when his gait appears hesitant or unsteady. The meme permeated discussions about robotics, with social media users drawing parallels between Biden's walking gait with rising humanoid robots like the Figure 2, Tesla's Optimus, and Xfang's Iron. Adcock said the fluidity of the Figure 2's walk hasn't been a top priority, but its new end-to-end -end neural network made it more easily achievable. Figure's new demo shows 10 humanoid robots controlled by a single neural network without any adjustments. The zero-shot deployment was made possible with NVIDIA technology that simulates years of walking practice in just a few hours. The fleet of robots walk in perfect sync using the same AI brain. During simulation training, digital twins of the robots train to handle trips, shoves, friction changes, and other possible disruptions before attempting anything in the real world. The robots adjust their walking with torque feedback sensors, checking their movements a thousand times per second. The high-speed feedback loop helps the robots get around similar to humans, whose muscles and nerves are constantly changing during movement. The Reinforcement Learning Approach awards the virtual replicas of the robot's points for copying human-like movements, staying balanced, and using energy efficiently. Once training is finished, the learned behaviors are transferred to the physical robots with a process called Sim to Real, short for Simulation to Reality. Figure is seen as one of the most formidable challengers to Tesla, which aims to manufacture 5,000 Optimus humanoid robots in 2025. Like my, my prediction is that, on this front, is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, it, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. The startup recently unveiled its bot Q Robot Factory, which is intended to scale to 12,000 humanoid robots per year. The company is facing stiffening competition from the likes of One X Technologies, Agility Robotics, Aptronic, Boston Dynamics, and a growing number of Chinese firms that also rely on reinforcement learning to achieve human-like movements. Shenzhen startup engine AI has been especially disruptive with its frequent demos showcasing its robots' increasingly natural and acrobatic capabilities. Engine developed custom actuators and a novel neural network that continuously adapts movements. The company was founded in 2023 and generated serious buzz when it emerged in fall 2024 with its SE1 humanoid's shockingly lifelike walking gait. Hangzhou-based Unitry Robotics combines imitation and reinforcement learning. Using the dual approach, Unitree's humanoid and quadrupedal robots mimic human movements and refine their actions through trial and error. Unitree offers open-source resources supporting reinforcement learning implementations on their robots. Meanwhile, One X Technologies, which operates out of California and Norway, is collaborating closely with NVIDIA to bring its neo-humanoid robots into homes at scale super determined to bring general purpose humanoid robots into the world. We think that by swapping notes on how to solve autonomy problems on NEO, we can dramatically accelerate the timeline for bringing NEO into people's homes. The startup shared this footage of its NEO Gamma robot washing dishes autonomously after being trained on a custom dataset collected from real homes. The system uses NVIDIA's Group N1 neural network in a 5 hertz vision action loop. They train the robot at a 1X employee's real home. Like Figure, 1X Technologies plans to start testing its AI robots in real homes this year. Another perceived leader in the emerging market, 
Canadian startup Sanctuary AI is also leveraging a simulation learning approach as it focuses on robotic hand dexterity. The company recently shared this clip showing a sim to real transfer of a robotic hand trained for manipulation tasks. With NVIDIA's Isaac Lab and Physics Simulation Engine, Sanctuary says it can train its proprietary robotic hands across thousands of simultaneous simulations. The Vancouver-based startup recently showed off the robotic hands integration with the firm's flagship humanoid named Phoenix. With 21 degrees of freedom, the hand's design uses miniaturized hydraulic valves for stronger power density compared to fully electric systems. The valves have been tested to withstand 2 billion cycles without leakage or degradation. Meanwhile, a Swedish artificial intelligence startup just introduced a robotic dog named Luna that learns and adapts on its own. The company integrated what it calls its digital nervous system with an off-the-shelf quadrupedal robot by Unitree Robotics. While most robots are told what they're looking at, Luna notices patterns and adjusts its AI brain based on outcomes. For more on Luna, check the related video.